Hey everybody, welcome to another Brownsburg Chamber Member Spotlight video, and we're here in the Elevate Office Studios here in Brownsburg, and we're really excited to be with Dr. Lisa Youngblood today with Elm MD. Uh, thanks for sitting down with us today. Thank you. And as a way of getting started, tell us a little bit about you and tell us uh, how you got started in your business. So I'm a Lisa Youngblood. I'm a board certified family physician and owner of Elm MD, which is located right here in Brownsburg and sort of central Indiana. It's a direct primary care practice. And for those of you who don't know direct primary care, it's kind of concierge care at an affordable cost. Uh, we charge $99 for adults 65 and under and, and that's with, per month that's per month okay. and with that you get unlimited access to primary care services with me um, both virtual and in-person visits and also access through cell phone text text messaging as well cool so how did you get started into that did you ever work for a hospital or anything like that tell me a little bit mm -hmm. about uh, how you got started yeah so i um been in practice for in family medicine for 25 years and have always practiced in a big group setting, um, hospital-based um, group setting, 3,000 patient panel, and mm. after a while it gets a little overwhelming. And then when COVID hit, I decided that I needed to take time to be with my kids. And so I took time off during the beginning of COVID, and then that actually gave me the opportunity to kind of plan to do DPC, which I had thought about for several years. It's okay. a concept that's been around for five to ten years but um, when you're in the business of a group hospital owned setting you really can't look outside of that arena yeah so tell me a little bit about what made you you know I know you said you took time off with your kids and stuff like that and that's great but um, when you what made you what were you dealing with in the hospital or what was going on in that setting that um, that you felt like you could would be different, I guess, if you went ahead and made this jump to move on your own. Yeah, so um, being in practice for 25 years, you have a huge patient base, huge patient panel, um, no control over when you see patients. If patients get an acute illness, they really can't even find a spot to see you because mm. I was always booked, so they would end up needing to see a nurse practitioner, which is fine, but it's also not providing the access and continuity that I would have liked to provide okay. to them. And so my patients would constantly say, hey, I, you know, how can I get to see you? And I would have to try to figure out how to work the schedule, but I never had control of the um, upfront office, so it was kind of impossible to, to work the system. Um, and then lots of patients uh, just found that it was frustrating to not have that continuity. There's also a lot of issues with insurance and, and turnover of staff and, and everything. So it got to be really difficult to get that personal relationship with patients and help them kind of achieve the best health they can. No, that's cool. Um, so what made you pick Brownsburg? So direct primary care um, is popular in many parts of the country, um, actually pretty popular here in Indiana. Okay. And um, there's several offices around the city, um, but none on the west side. So mm. Brownsburg is a perfect location to uh, provide direct primary care, but hopefully we'll also draw from the other areas as well. Some of the practices are closed. Part of direct primary care, there's a membership um, limit. And so once, pa once doctors fill that limit, they often take no more patients. And that limit often is like 400 to 500 patients, so not okay. to 3,000. So um, there's several doctors that are already close to new patients in the, the north side of Indianapolis especially. So um, those patients will need to maybe come this direction. <laughs> okay. No, that's awesome. So um, I know you said you took time off during COVID when that happened mm -hmm. to be with your kids. But so when did you start your business? Was it kind of, I mean, we're still going through COVID, I guess. We are know, still all going the time, through COVID. But um, we've been asking our people when we do these how COVID affected them in their business. And I didn't know, you know, how that time's up with, uh, with how you got started. But tell me, if it affected you how it did and uh, yeah. a little bit about how that happened. Well, obviously, it's kind of been good and bad because it allowed me to have some time to plan and to actually make the jump to direct primary care, which, I, yeah. as I said, I would thought about doing for a while. Um, we opened in January here um, in Brownsburg, and since COVID's still going on, it's been a little difficult to get people to actually come out and take care of their health. A lot of people have put it off for over a year now yeah. and so um, 
we need to get patients out and you know kind of seeing their doctors and um, we have immediate access and immediate availability which is nice so patients that kind of call their doctor and they can't get in for three to four months maybe this is a good option for them because you can get in right away and we have the ability to refer anywhere to any specialist if a specialist is needed we can refer to any of the hospital systems too so we're not tied to just one hospital system which is nice it offers a lot okay so yeah tell me a little bit about that process and uh, we were talking before and I know you're able to do some things like that um, for somebody like me that right now my health's pretty good you know but I want to sign up um, to be able to get this kind of a relationship with my primary mm -hmm. care physician and uh, to have that capability but then let's say I have something bad happen and I need to go somewhere else just walk me through kind of that process and how that would work at what point do you know you go to some of these places like you're talking about yeah so um, it's always important to take care of your um, health so we you know recommend you know come in for a preventative visit if, okay um, you know nothing else get the cholesterol checked and stuff like that um, if something bad happens say you uh, break your leg yeah um, obviously you need to see a you know orthopedist and so if you have insurance which you know a lot of people still you know carry insurance then we would gear it towards whoever's on your plan okay so if it's an iu based plan we'd go to iu if it's a something that hendrix you know offers then we would steer you that direction um there's lots of specialists obviously that cover all the systems so um if you've got your neighbor you want to see we can send you there so we okay. just do a referral um our records are all electronic so we um you know, fax and send office notes and everything. Um, all prescriptions are all done electronically, just like any other office nowadays. Cool. Mm -hmm. No, that's awesome. So where are you exactly located in Brownsburg? So we're over um, off of Northfield Drive, um, just right by Lowe's office, um, or office business, right, whatever, right, right. <laughs> by Lowe's. Yeah. Um, and um, it's an awesome office and you just pull curbside parking it's free not any of the big um, hospital based offices where you have to circle for 15 minutes trying to find a parking <laughs> spot and pull right up it's appointment only right now we don't take okay. walk-ins because of COVID um, and probably will not do walk-ins in general patients just text me when they want to be seen or if they need to be seen and then I text them back and give them enough time that way we can clean in between and we don't have patients walking over each other and right everything. yeah well I think it's great I'm um, you know one of the reasons we've been doing these videos is just a way to say thank you yeah. for people for number one being a member of our chamber we really appreciate it but uh, but also for you choosing Brownsburg to make this the place that you want to invest uh, right. your business in and do this in our community I think it's awesome and uh, I from all the chamber um, say thank you very much we appreciate well, thank it. you I really appreciate being able to talk to everyone yeah so yes. where can people connect with you are you on social media do you have a website um yeah so um so definitely just google ilm md if you want ilm is spelled a-i-l-m um, it's irish for health and wellness so um, that's kind of why i named it i've got some irish in me okay. um, and so we just put the md on the end so it's ilm md and it's and then you can say Dr. Youngblood there as well because the Google will eventually find me. I'm kind okay. of been around so long that I'm Carmel sometimes still pops up. Okay. But um, and then info at ilmmd.com is the cool. um, website. Well, we'll make sure to link that stuff uh, in this post mm -hmm. when we share this video. But yeah, yeah. Thanks again for sitting down thank with you. us. This is cool, and um, thank you to everybody for watching. We'll see you all next time. Thank you.